Hello students. Now in this video, let's start chapter four. Quadratic reciprocity. So now. Here, first of all, we have to see the definition quadratic residue. Now, let m greater than one be any integer. Be any integer, and let a b any non zero a b any non zero integer such a that such a that a and m are relatively prime okay if x square congruence to a x square congruence to a modulo m has a solution has a solution then a is called a quadratic A is called a quadratic residue of M, or quadratic residue modulo M. Okay. Again, if x square congruence to a modulo m has no solution, has no solution, then a is called as a is called quadratic. Quadratic non residue of M. So here be careful for this. A and M are relatively prime. So x square congruence to A modulo M has a solution, then that is a quadratic residue modulo M. And this one has no solution, then A is quadratic non residue modulo M. Now let's take some example. Suppose example. Let m equal to six. Okay, and e equal to one and five. Now one and six are relatively prime. Five and six are also relatively prime. Therefore, let's see. What about this? X square congruence to one modulo six. X square congruence m will be six. We have to compare with this. M x square congruence to one modulo six has a solution. It has a solution. What is that? Has a solution. X is equal to one. Why? Why? X square congruence to pi u modulo six. So one square doesn't congruence to pi modulo six. Two square doesn't congruence to pi modulo six. Three square doesn't congruence to pi modulo six. So it has, and so on. We can calculate has no solution. Has no solution. So, what does this use? This says the 
क्वाड्रेटिक रेसिड्यू क्वाड्रेटिक रेसिड्यू ऑफ सिक्स इज ओनली ए इक्वल टू वट वन एंड फाइव इज द क्वाड्रेटिक फाइव इज द क्वाड्रेटिक नॉन रेसिड्यू ऑफ सिक्स क्वाड्रेटिक नॉन रेसिड्यू ऑफ सिक्स नाउ लेट सी सम मोर एग्जाम्पल नेक्स्ट एग्जाम्पल लेट एम इक्वल टू थर्टी एंड ए इक्वल टू वन टू थ्री फोर सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन इलेवन ट्वेल्व डेन डेन एक्स स्क्वायर हियर वी विल टेक फोर फाइव ऑल्सो फाइव दैट विल नॉट फाइव सिक्स सॉरी देन एक्स स्क्वायर कॉन्ग्रेंस टू वन मॉडल थर्टी हैज अ सोल्यूशन हैज अ सोल्यूशन एक्स इक्वल टू वट वन नेक्स्ट एक्स स्क्वेर कॉन्ग्रेंस टू टू मॉडल ऑफ थर्टी हैज नो सोल्यूशन यू कैन चेक इट हैज नो सोल्यूशन देन एक्स स्क्वेर कॉन्ग्रेंस टू थ्री मॉडल ऑफ थर्टी हैज सोल्यूशन हैज अ सोल्यूशन and what does that that is nothing but x equal to what 4 if we put x equal to 4 16 16 congruence to 3 modulo 13 fine next x square congruence to 4 modulo 13 has a solution has a solution x equal to what 2 नेक्स्ट एक्स स्क्वेर कॉन्ग्रेंस टू फाइव मॉड्यूलो थर्टीन हैज नो सोल्यूशन हैज नो सोल्यूशन एक्स स्क्वेर कॉन्ग्रेंस टू सिक्स मॉड्यूलो थर्टीन हैज अगेन नो सोल्यूशन You can see squares are what one, four, nine, sixteen, twenty-five, then thirty-six, and so on. So if we take these one, it doesn't have a solution. Next one and further also. Next one x square congruence to seven modulo thirteen has. Again, no solution. Has no solution. X square congruence to eight modulo thirteen has again no solution. Has also no solution. X square congruence to Nine modulo thirteen has a solution. Has a solution. X equal to what? Three. X square congruence to ten modulo thirteen has a solution. Has a solution. X equal to what? x equal to six. If we take six square, thirty-six congruence to ten modulo thirteen. Next, 
x square congruence to 11 modulo 30. Has no solution. Has no solution. While x square congruence to 12 modulo 13 has a solution has a solution x equal to what 8 64 will be there 64 congruence to 12 modulo 13 thus thus what can we say a equal to what 1 then 3 4 9 10 12 are the are the quadratic are the quadratic residue of residue of m equal to what 30 are the quadratic residue of m equal to 30 now let's take the next example the next example is that let m equal to 5 and a is obviously what 1 2 3 and what 4 so or then x square congruence to 1 modulo 5 has a solution has a solution x equal to what 1 x square congruence to 2 modulo 5 has no solution has no solution then x square congruence to 3 modulo 5 has again no solution has no solution next x square congruence to 4 modulo 5 has solution has a solution x equal to what 2 okay therefore 1 and 4 are the quadratic residue of 5 while other 2 and 3 are quadratic non residue of 5 now here let's write one remark and then go further remark the remark says if p is prime p is prime then there are there are p minus 1 by 2 number of p minus 1 by 2 number of quadratic residues p minus 1 by 2 number of quadratic residues are there okay now further we have to see a very important definition is of legend trees Legendary's symbol. Legendary's symbol. The definition let P greater than two be any prime and let a belongs to Z such a that such a that A B A and B are relatively prime. Then 
we denote then we denote legendaries symbol as this round brackets okay and is defined as and is defined as this a by p is what one if x square congruence to a modulo p has a solution and it is minus 1 if x square congruence to a modulo p has no solution has no solution or you can say this is equivalent to 1 if a is quadratic a is quadratic residue of p while it is minus 1 if a is quadratic non residue of p so if a is quadratic residue of p this legendary symbol having the value 1 why if they are non quadratic or non quadratic or quadratic non residue then it's having value minus 1 okay now let's see the example on this example for p equal to 13 legendary symbol of 1 by 13 equal to what 1 legendary symbol of 3 by 13 is what 1 you can check just we have saw the example before if m equal to 13 we had checked the quadratic residues of m equal to 13 so in them 1 3 4 9 10 and 12 are there fine while other are quadratic non residues of 13 so this is 1 then 4 legendary symbol of 4 by 13 is 1 legendary symbol of 9 by 13 is also what 1 legendary symbol of 10 by 13 is also 1 and legendary symbol of 12 by 13 is also 1 and by other which are the 2 by 13 it will be minus 1 then 5 by 13 it is also minus 1 6 by 13 it is also minus 1 7 by 13 that is also minus 1 8 by 13 it is also minus 1 and 11 by 13 that is also what minus 1 ok now the next example find the following find the following legendary symbol legendary symbols which are the 1 by 11 minus 1 by 11 2 by 11 minus 2 by 11 3 by 11 and 19 by 30 ok so solution 1 by 11 legendary symbol of 1 by 11 is 1 as x square congruence to 1 
modulo 11 has a solution has a solution x equal to what 1 why minus 1 by 11 it doesn't have a solution as x square congruence to minus 1 modulo 11 square won't be negative so has no solution has no solution now further this 2 by 11 now what is that it will be x square congruence to 2 modulo 11 so has no solution has no solution okay so it is minus 1 now minus 2 by 11 that is equal to 1 as x square congruence to minus 2 modulo 11 has a solution has a solution x equal to what 3 if 9 9 congruence to minus 2 modulo 11 now legendary symbol of 3 by 11 is also 1 as x square congruence to 3 modulo 11 has a solution has a solution x equal to what 5 now 19 19 by 13 now what is this this is x square congruence to 19 modulo 13 this is same as x square congruence to 6 modulo 13 and it has has no solution has no solution so this is equal to what minus 1 as such we can determine easily the legendary symbols of various numbers okay now let's see some properties of legendary symbols but let me take them in next video okay thank you